right, so it is bright and early on Friday morning. We're going. <laughs> We're going. So it's bright and early on Friday morning and we are headed to the RV dealership because somebody is coming home with an RV today and I wonder who it might be. Hmm. So, if you are just as curious as we are as to who is coming home with a new toy today, stay tuned to this video. If you are new to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Turn that bell notification on so you are notified when we drop a new video. Hit that thumbs up button if you like our content and follow along to see what happens today. Yeah, it's going to be very, very exciting. So exciting. Carson, you got your money? Okay. All right, let's go. All right. Wow, you have so much money. All right, it's all yours. Have Yay. fun. Guys are going so What's up everybody? So what we just found out is that Camille's parents and my in-laws, they're the ones that purchased this magnificent travel trailer. So I'm gonna take you on a tour of the outside and show you exactly what it is. So on the outside, we have a front access door that actually goes to the bedroom, which is a, a great way to sit there and separate your, from the living area in the front. And also, if you, you know, your parents are kids, you can kind of sneak off and not bother anybody that's in the front. So also right here is a cable uh, to actually go to the satellite if you want to sit there and watch some things outside or it comes from the antenna up at the top. And right here we have a J port. So that's what you want to do when you want to have a grill and you want to grill outside. You don't want to sit here and stand behind here because this is where a lot of the the heat comes out from inside so you don't want to stand there when you're grilling but if you're outside uh, you want to grill be perfect out here so up at the top you can see that we have the awning lights the awning is up there we got some lights to be turning the lights on for you but this is where the awning is so it's actually really really cool out here to have that and we actually have two large speakers one right here and one right here so you know you're blasting some music you want to sit there listen to some TV and you got everything hooked up you can definitely do that and it is actually 39 it's, it's 36 feet, feet long actually and then on the inside is 29 so it's 29 rear living this is actually the front well the back the back of the the rig and we have some steps and there's a antenna up there i'm not going to climb up here because it's raining i'm trying to do this rather quickly because it's been raining on and off and this is the first break we got so i'm trying to do this without getting soaked but i'm actually getting pretty wet right now but it's a jayco brand and on this side we have the the electrical is 50 amps right here we have connected to the city and this is a pretty cool feature that we see right here so we actually have a small little shower system so like if you actually went to the beach you want to sit there and wipe your feet off or you got some dogs you want to sit there and give them a bath after a long day of hiking or anything that you're trying to do we actually have some access right here so you don't have to actually bring them in the house because we all know whether it's you yourself your kids your dogs it could be a hassle trying to sit there and clean your clean your trailer out after a long day of hiking or the beach so this one actually only has one slide but is actually pretty cool um, uh, it actually fits up this slide actually fits a lot uh, of space uh, which you'll see on the inside and over here we're coming on the back side of it and it's, it's pretty cool because yeah it actually have a lot of space so we actually have a pull through garage this way and is that it goes pretty deep all the way through so it's a pretty good pretty good space so you can stick a lot of stuff in there so you, you actually have a lot of space and here right here is actually pretty cool um, which i didn't notice before um, you can actually flush your black water tank uh, that you know after it's cleaned out and you want to sit there and sanitize you can just 
go in there and spray and to put stick a hose in there and it'll uh, pretty much rinse your black water tank and this actually has two gray water tanks which i wanted to mention so we have a black water and two gray water so this is actually an awesome awesome rig if, and we're excited to sit there and, and take some trips and this is exactly what we're going to do and let's see what's on the inside So it is really gross weather out there today. So we are sorry about that. Um, but as you can see, here she is in all of her glory. So I'll let Erin take a quick look around. I'm gonna close this door because we got a train coming by, which is gonna be super irritating to listen to. Okay, so as you can see, this is a rear living model, which means we get the best of both worlds. We have a nice love seat right here, and then we've got the theater seats here, so both people can sit down. Got a little latch right here. Kick your feet up. Oh, so comfy. Relax and look at our lovely TV right here with the fireplace down below. On each side of us here, we've got nightstands with some storage. I'm not gonna go through all the storage here because it is brand new and we've got stuff kind of scattered everywhere. Um, but you got your USB plugs. You got some 120 outlets here as well. So that way you can stay connected. It does have two um, detachable like laptop desks that you can put on these theater seats. So really great if you're trying to do some work on the road video editing, you know, keeping in touch on social media, what have you. So that's excellent. Um, the nice thing about this smart TV here is it is on a hinge. I'm not going to pull it out now, but you got a little pull tab here that you can pull, pull down and kind of swivel it out. And then it does lock into place. Um, taking a spin around this way, you've got our double seater sofa so this love seat I'm about five seven you can see I can stretch out comfortably um two adults can fit here comfortably and then it pulls out into probably about a full-size bed and it's not a jackknife which is really nice so it pulls out and you can sleep two people here or you can sleep probably two maybe three kids depending on how cozy they are uh, moving on into the kitchen dining so you've got a freestanding table with four seats that attach down below so that's really nifty especially on travel days this table actually has an extension which we've got pulled out now so you can detach these seats and have just a little extra seating space which is always nice um over here in the kitchen plenty of storage space look how deep that pantry goes i mean like oh look at that i can't wait till we put some baskets or boxes or whatever to keep that organized we've got our furion refrigerator here so fridge and then we've got freezer up above Ooh. Can't wait to put frozen pizzas in there. Very on microwave. Don't need to say much about that. Storage up top. Three burner stove with a glass surface. And it's got some pre-cut slits in the back that you can put knives into. Um, you've got the tower of power, as Matt likes to call it on Matt's RV reviews. So you just press that and pull it straight up you've got USB USB-C two power outlets and then on top you've got wireless charging for your phone so you can just sit your phone on top of that and it'll charge um, over the sink it came with a cutting board and a drying rack which rolls up and then you've got this extra 
um, area of counter space that you can kind of lift up and it just extends your area of preparation. So that is perfect. Um, all right, let's go down to the bathroom. And we'll take a look in here. So you've got a beautiful shower with a glass sliding door. The nice thing is it slides from each way even though you can only enter um, or secure it from one side. You've got your toilet in the corner and your toilet tissue roll is kind of tucked away in there. Again, you've got great storage, um, some towel hooks up here. You've got a little bit of storage here in the corner. You can put some knickknacks, extra toilet paper. You've got some more really good storage here, which in a travel trailer, because you don't get a lot of that storage in the underbelly, as you know, having storage inside the trailer is key. And then you also have medicine cabinet here. There we go. Perfect. All right, and then on to the bedroom. So before we walk in here, I'm just gonna show you this door. So on travel day, you would just take and secure this by bungee and privacy back of the family. <laughs> so I'll get this all secured. And it's got a little latch down here that you can secure it over to the other side. So coming into the bedroom, you've got a beautiful queen size bed. And then look at this. Look at that view out the back. Don't excuse the owner back there. Just, you know, looking at his tow vehicle. <laughs> but you got a beautiful queen size bed that, oh man, you just oh, stretch out all over here. Two reading lights. Um, you can't see it now because we've got tons of pillows on the bed, but you've got two little storage nooks back here. I'll put the camera back here so you can see it. So two little storage nooks. You can put your phone, you can put books. I'm not sure how big a CPAP machine is, but maybe you can fit a CPAP machine back there. And they both have a little light. Uh, Aaron, can you hit the light switch right there for me? Boom, there it is. So you got a nice little light back there. And you've got bum bum power. So you've got two plugs back here as well. So you can plug up devices. And then on each side of the bed, you've got a mirror with a little bit of closet space, nice and deep. And another two plugs with some USB. Same setup mirrored on the other side of the bed. And then you've got a second entry here. So a completely separate doorway with steps. So if you're sharing this um, space with another family or like us, if we're camping with our parents and we've got our kids with us, um, we can sneak out or they can sneak out and we're not bothering each other. Um, I won't open this one because I got stuff stashed away in here so I could make it look nice and clean for you guys. But yeah, that is pretty much it. So tell us what you think. We are super excited. Um, I think we've settled on the name of GB for this rig. So in honor of some of the matriarchs of our family, this is GB and she's gonna take us on some great adventures. So if you liked this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Comment down below on where we should take this beauty first. Tell us what you love about camping and what are some things that we should not miss on our first camping trip. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit that bell notification so you're notified when we come out with new content and follow along on our journey. Thanks guys, have a good one. 
So it is bright and early on Friday morning, and we are headed to the RV dealership. I'm mad that you started all the way from the beginning. I just I'm said. I'm just, just, just talking. <laughs> all right. So it's bright and early on Friday morning, and we are headed. <laughs> I'm sorry, but just started all the way from the beginning. This is on my mind. Work. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead. Hey, everyone. <laughs> so you just not gonna say that? Yes, I'm gonna say something. Okay. 